Hey, any fish, it is the 18th of January, 2019. And this is one of those things that uh, makes you go, hmm. But it's just another example of the underlying spiritual warfare in this world, in mankind, that's been there from the beginning, that manifests itself through men and women because they are serving it. Okay, if you're serving this world, then you're serving basically the bad guys. Okay, I'll just put it that way. And these manifestations we see are merely God allowing us to see we're shining the light onto the darkness. And it's revealing what's been hidden forever so that people can see that they really truly are involved in a eternal spiritual war that is going to you know come to a conclusion and you need to be on the right side essentially and that's enough of that I just want to show you this okay Trump gave this speech yesterday uh, the 17th about missile defense okay and he was at the Pentagon and of course he talked about the wall and he talked about his missile defense wanting to be able to stop every missile ever fired at our country and protect every single solitary city. But he also talks about the wall, and that's important to remember what I'm going to show you. We need strong borders. We need strong barriers and walls. Nothing else is going to work. Everyone okay. Now, then he moves on to the missile defense, which essentially is the same, you know, he's he's pushing it just as much, saying that we need this missile defense just as much as we need this wall, okay? And at the Pentagon again. Now, everybody has seen the Trump uh, in this Western, this old Western track down at the end of the world, okay? Everybody's seen it. We know about the wall that he speaks about. But this is just really, really weird. Another connection here that you need to listen to this for just a minute, okay? I understand I have until midnight. And you heard. Yeah, I heard. Uh, your name is Trump? Dr. Walter Trump. D-U-M-C-S-S-R. Well, that's a whole bunch of letters. Just a few of the degrees that have been conferred on me. Uh, would you mind uh, running through them again for me? D.U. is Doctor of Universe. M.C. Master of Cometry. S.S.R. Student of Stellar Reactions. Well, how do you figure that the world is uh, going to end? Well, that's really quite simple. According to my calculations, tonight, November 14th, the Earth will either collide with or come into close proximity to a comet. In any event, the outcome will be disaster. A cosmic explosion will end all. But the end may come by other means. Now, how do you see it? By means of this. Uncounted millions of these. This is a meteorite. Iron ore from out of space. They will rain on the Earth like pepper on an egg. Each one red hot, traveling at speeds in excess of millions of miles an hour. Molded by their passage into unstoppable bullets. But uh, you can stop them, huh? I can, sir. And I will. See, they are drawn to the Earth by a force that we call gravity. I have discovered how to repel that force. By doing that, I can save this town. Well, how? By means of a force repeller. You sell these force repellers? You have a very suspicious mind, sir. <laughs> okay, so, so far, he's saying that a comet is going to hit, or all these millions of meteorite bullets, right? And he can protect everybody with his shield, his force repeller, right? Trump is talking about blocking all the missiles and putting up a wall, a force repelling. He's at the Pentagon. Notice when Mr. Um, Witch Doctor here, okay, when he gets all the people together to to start, you know, swindling them, basically. Listen to what he says here. 
Bobby had checked the town. The people were ready to believe. Like sheep, they ran toward the slaughterhouse. And waiting for them was the high priest of fraud. I am the only one. Just me. I can build a wall around your homes that nothing will penetrate. Okay, now, he's the only one. The sheep led to the slaughter. The big lie, okay? He's standing there selling his wares, and he's right in front of this this tent here with a pentagram on it. Trump is at the Pentagon with all his symbols there. You notice that? The pyramid, the all-seeing eye, has got the black sun symbol over here. Just think about this. Trump at the Pentagon, but it's a pentagram there, and he's talking about blocking with his force repeller all the meteorites that are going to come flying at the earth just think about that and the way he says he's going to repel them is through these umbrellas we can watch it for another minute what do we do how do we save ourselves you ask how do you build that wall you ask and i'm here to tell you This is your saving. This is your wall. You mean that thing is going to save a whole town? Don't laugh, friend. Please don't laugh. It's the markings. It's the magnetic force that is called up by these markings that will care for your loved ones. How about our cattle? Got... <laughs> How about our cattle? You're the cattle. See, he's telling them that the markings, the symbols, are what will repel the uh, the projectiles, the gravity. This is crazy. At and With this pentagram and his pyramid at the Pentagon. <laughs> Think about this stuff. And there's a ton more that could be gone into here. I mean, it's insane. These people are willing to give, sell their family heirlooms and everything, man. It's nuts. But it's very telling to me. It shows that this, this illusion this trickery, this sorcery, this magic that's been just fooling mankind through the flesh, through lusts, uh, and not understanding that you have a, a battle going on within you. And it's eternal, and you need to understand that, because this life is very short. Everybody in this film right here is probably dead, okay? And hopefully they didn't listen to him. So I just have to share this stuff. That's an amazing little uh, coincidence we have here. So I hope this is uh, informative at the very least. No, but seriously, you need Jesus to understand the warfare you're in and to obtain the armor that you need to fight it and win through Jesus the only way. So, seek him first, foremost, and always, and peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 